second session of this quarter final. Red is potable into the middle pocket. Not ideal. He hasn't got a clue where the cue ball is going to go. I just miss the brown if he does pot it. And Mike just well, well. <laughs> you could stand there for another year and a half and you couldn't pull that shot off. Yeah, those are the shots that test the old cue action, and he's so good at that, and he hasn't got away with it. He's flicked the yellow. That's a bit unlucky to stick it up. It's amazing, even for the top players, when you get out onto the Mark. match arena on television, those shots become more difficult. Yeah, he played in such a way that that was the only one he was going to leave, but unfortunately, every now and again, you do leave it. That's the element of luck in the game of snooker. Six. Seven. Black out of commission, but Ronnie's always very clever when it comes to getting it back into play. Mm. And about from here, that's going to be tough. Lost control Twelve. a fraction. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Well, it's hard to describe how hard he had to hit this. And you can see both the red and the white jumping around the table, but he can get the black into play in a couple of shots' time. If this bounces far enough, but he's let it go again. He's uh, wanted to be on this red to pot it and just nudge the red to the left of the black away. He can't do it now. Well, I thought he was going to go into the pack off that blue. 19. Well, I wonder if he had that again. Would he be play it the same way? No, he was trying to get on the blue, yeah. and he would have went into the pink and reds this time, but he was trying to get the black into play, but he just didn't get the position required. This has got to be very accurate, and I think he played it very well. Oh, what a nice shot. He's now through the gap. He's given himself a, 23. an outside chance of keeping the break going. Well, that's just a spectacular shot. It would be a spectacular shot with your normal hand, but the last two shots he's played with his left hand. I mean, it's quite amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. He had a margin for error. He's 29. got the red above the black or this one. 30. Just the one to the left of black, just a slight awkward one. And that's the one he's played for immediately to clear the black for seven. both corner pockets. 38. Well, I don't think there's many players in the game who would have been able to have salvaged this break like Ronnie O'Sullivan has. It looked like he was out of position. An out of position by enough that he was going to come unstuck. But one good split on the pack. Have the patience to leave it until he has to play the, the split. Other players would, wouldn't would risk leaving it to the last minute. 53. Confident that he can get the right angle 54. on the black. And here's the frame winner coming up. If this goes right. Well, it's a little awkward. 61. Stayed close to the cushion, so this red, he'll have to can on the other, so not guaranteed to get nicely on the colour that he'll need to win the frame. But he's played it with lots of pace. <laughs> so just the black needed. And there it is. But it a couple of the shots he's played in this break with his left hand. 69. 
Well, they were exceptional, I can tell you that. This is the one here, played with the opposite hand. Fabulous. 76. As I mentioned, 77. 98 before the mid-session interval, and now this, the rocket certainly has taken off. 84. 85. You see how fluently and effortlessly now he's playing the game of snooker. Makes you realise nice. how difficult it is for his opponent, who had his best chances perhaps in this match, to keep him under wraps earlier. And now, from Anthony McKill's perspective, 98. it's going to be like stopping a runaway horse. Well, that really is a fabulous century break from Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's his fourth in this year's UK Championship. 103. 107. He made 53 centuries last season, just at 19. Well, that one there makes it 20 for this season. 112. 118. 118. Well, what a way to start after the mid-session interval. Sullivan. One mistake from Adrian McGill. He had to sit in his seat and watch Ronnie O'Sullivan clear up with that fabulous break of 125. Well, now then, Anthony, you can see Ronnie's long pot success rate was at 33%. 1. And he wanted to be further out into the table, but it shouldn't be a problem getting on that red that's to the right of the blue. 1. That's okay. There's a couple of reds available. Nine. Quite a sizable break here just to get that confidence going. Because he hasn't had a chance. Fourteen. In the last two frames. Fifteen. Red in the middle of the pack, it looks like it also might pot into the right corner. 23. And that's in preference to going into the pack off the black, so a fraction of right hand side perhaps, just a fraction. Oh, he changed his mind. He had the perfect angle. <laughs> Thirty. Looked like he'd set up to play the run through. Yeah, I think he had looked at your yeah. shot and then he thought, well, listen, 31. I might not get a better chance. And he certainly opened them up nicely, didn't he? Perhaps it was where he left the cue ball that made his mind up. 38. This would be an excellent frame to win in this visit. It really would be. Oh, no. Oh. Anthony McGill. 38. Do you know, that seemed to drift slightly there, the way the old cloths used to play with the nap. Let's have a look at it again. There it looked not too bad, and then all of a sudden, just the last six inches or so. Yeah. Well, it was never in the heart. The last thing you want to do is leave Ronnie O'Sullivan One. in a position to counter-attack. It looked as if Anthony was going to level. Six. Ronnie enjoys the challenge of winning a frame when the scores are Seven. not in his favour. Seems to focus his attention on the situation. Which seems to me, Dennis, like he enjoys solving the puzzle of two red sun side cushion safe. How can Four. I clear up from here? Yeah, he'll have... Uh... 50. One eye on those reds. He'll already be working out in his mind as he's concentrating on these colours, how he's going to go about moving those. And 
maybe the one next to the pink is available. He's got that red over that middle pocket that he can... 23. ...utilise to try and break a red open, knowing full well that that red over the middle is Thirty. potable. Yeah, the pink's the ball that you want to move the reds, and he's got an angle on the pink to bring that one, the right side of the table, into play. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Well, that's perfectly played. 43. And if he doesn't get that red out on the side cushion, of course, being left-handed as well, he can just drop in behind it. I still think he, yeah, he's looking to move that. And as he overscrews it slightly, he was trying to leave an angle on the blue, but he's gone too 44. far, but he can get there from the yellow. Of course he can, but he's overdone it, has he? No, he's unlucky. Oh, he was just a fraction away of playing 46. that perfectly. Brilliant right. shot. Brilliant shot. That red was so far up the cushion, he decided it was worthwhile attempting to shift it. So unlucky. Bonnie O'Sullivan, 46. That'll do very nicely, acknowledged by Ronnie, as long as it doesn't bounce. Yeah, well played. He yeah, needed to hit it a bit harder and obviously a bit fuller to get the stun effect. I'll tell you what, it's so nice to see this young man smiling out there. He's up against Ronnie O'Sullivan, who gets a flick on the pink and has got a snooker. Well, it's a containing shot. There's plenty of other options. He doesn't have to play that. And he did try that and just didn't catch hold of it as he intended. Oh, nice use of the black ball. That's the shot that's available to him. Can he get enough side on it and get somewhere near the line? Where's the red going though? He needs to finish tight on that cushion. And he has, it's safe. Foul, unless. He's had a result there. He's got it, but he's hit it a bit hard. Where's that red? Oh, it's flicked the pink and it's gone safe. So he didn't want to risk that, and this looks pretty good. Oh, it's just gone slightly too far, I think. Took the pot on, and that was a difficult one. That was a risk need to play that shot very aggressive well what a test now for Anthony McGill one good pot here not only has he missed it he's well it's not right over the pocket One. 
gone a bit too far to get over the side of the table to Five. leave an easy green. And now, is he trying to get over there? Or no. Has he, has he gone too hard? He has. Seven. I don't think he sort of rushed it in the end. Well, and that's not... I don't think it's a snooker, is it? He may just have got one. No. He'd be disappointed with that. Great shot. This is key shot coming up. Foul, the miss. That's where he needs to go. And he's unlucky. I'll tell you what, if he hits that a little bit harder, it goes in. But he was in a terrible position there. Ronnie well, sort of tapped the table as if, yeah, he can pot the green, but can he get on the brown? Looks like he can. Oh, oh he's missed it with all the side. He's missed it and hit it coming backwards. Would you believe it? Big error. Second time he played a shot where it seems like he's, he's cues and his tips pushed the ball out a long way to the side. Uh, he, he missed a red into this top right-hand corner. It was like that, but that's a massive error. Seven. Well, he's going to need the black also. Twelve. And he wants to get a little bit closer to this black to make it slightly easier for himself. And he has got closer to the black. In fact, 18. he can reach round without needing the rest. What a frame for this young man to draw level. Just the black needed. And in goes the black. Okay. Ronnie misses the five shot five. on the green. Anthony Miguel. Anthony Miguel took full advantage and he's now all square with Ronnie O'Sullivan. There they are. Just a few days ago, he was talking about leaving this championship yeah. because of the pain in his ankle and he seems to be moving reasonably freely now, even though there is a fracture to his, uh, to his ankle. He's making the most of it here, uh, but as the guys have said, he's in a fight here. Three frames all, frame seven coming up. And it's Ronnie who gets frame seven underway. I remember when I first turned professional, I met the great Joe Davis, who was the king of snooker, 20 years undefeated champion. Met him at Pop Black, and a little bit of advice he, he, he gave me, he said, you play the percentages, you know, you wait, wow, but I suppose that's changed Anthony somewhat. Five. The players are thinking now that they've got 50% chance of getting it safe if they take the risky one on. Well, well, Anthony McGill is getting some inspiration from his opponent here because uh, all of a sudden Ronnie's confidence in his long game has evaporated. Anthony McGill sensed that. He's been very unlucky that with that split. Five. Not easy to play a safety shot either. Be an outrageous two ball plant. Screw back to safety. That's a, that's a monster shot. It's on. And well played. Because the blue was over the corner pocket. My apologies for saying screw back down to bulk. He committed even better than that. Cubal just running down the table more than he wanted. 11. Oh, he's, well, on, he's on one. I didn't know that one went. <laughs> hang on, Steve. He's not only on it. He can flick the other red out of the way and bring the pink into play. So 12. all of a sudden things are opening up here for the young man. Ooh, it's going to be tough. Just the pace once again. The red's gone on the pink spot. Does the pink go on the black spot? That's messed things up. 18. So 
obligated to work off the blue now. 19. 24. 25. Yeah, he's playing for this red that's on the pink spot. There's no way through to cannon the black and red because of this red. Fit, this fit. time he can get a nice angle on the blue. Let's see what sort of angle he's got on this. 31. No, he's not. He's gone straight, so you just have to play for the two reds there that are together the right side of the table. He needs 36. one more good shot. No. Now we see and Ronnie play that shot. 36. If he can get to the blue. You can see the disappointment there. Mm, that could finish awkward. One. Got to be a little bit careful. He's quite close to it. That's pretty good. But there's no way Six. through. Let me show you that shot again. I so said there's no way through to that cannon because if he's nicely on the blue here, he might be able to play the cannon this time, but if not, he'll remove the red that's near the pink spot and then... So he's got to get the right side of the blue. Don't think that red next to the pink Twelve. is available. If it is, he could change his plan. Thirteen. If the red's available, that's what he's looking at now. And it does go, so, yep. Yeah. Well, what great touch he showed earlier on. A very deft little 18. nip on the cue ball to keep it under control when he was close to the blue. Has he come far enough here? Yes, 19. just a bit of side spin. Three reds have stayed safe on the top cushion, though. Some hope for Anthony McGill. 24. 25. Just make sure he gets a good angle on the black to develop the difficult 32. reds. 33. Pocket seems to be accepting this shot. Uh, as long as you don't touch the near cushion there. No problem there. 41. Well, you couldn't be closer. Three frames each, 41 points each. 41. We'll see where he leaves the cue ball, what his intentions are. 49. Well, he can move it now. So this is a key shot coming up. But Anthony knows if he gets this right, he might stay in his seat. Oh, he's played that beautifully. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Well, this definitely is key shot now. He's missed it. Oh. Now, Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's 57. the first time we've seen Ronnie react like that. It was a key shot. And you don't see him react like this, or haven't done for quite a while. Can you get your breath? Wow. How has Anthony missed that? He's looked so composed throughout. It's this simplest of pots he's on the green that is just pure pressure there well two. amazing he missed the black off the spot but what a yellow so anthony Five. has missed a trick here 
Ronnie was angry with himself and he should have punished him there. Nine. Another big turning point in this quarterfinal. Do you know, I wonder whether the shock 14. of Ronnie's outburst put the heat on Anthony McGill in a bizarre way. Well, whatever. 20. And the French. Anthony would be very disappointed and Ronnie O'Sullivan as he leaves the arena. Half chance here. We can swing the white around the back of the black and reds. Excellent shot. He's not on it, I think. Three. Yeah, he's, he's okay. And Four. I think if he had finished on the blue and then cannon those three reds near the pink, but the white's gone too far. That's very nicely played. Six. Seven. I wonder will he try that nice little cannon onto those three reds and pink. He'd be guaranteed to be on a red. I mean, he could just concentrate on blues, which it looks as if he may do, or he, he's still got the opportunity to do it at. It's only if he's the right angle does he start going into them. 13. Picks balls off so well. Doesn't necessarily need to all the time. Oh, great shot. Fantastic cue Thanks. power, and a little bit unlucky, he's not better on the yellow. That's exactly how he played it. Probably hoping to get on the blue. Got hold of it too well. Twenty one. Twenty-two. Oh, he's making the cue ball move pretty easily around the table now. He's just a fraction shy. Not good. That was a big decision to go for this. Just grimaced. Twenty-seven. Does he play the pot? He's going to collide with the other reds. We well, could just about get past. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Now he can cannon into the red, isn't here the uh, the ones near the black. Oh, it's a great shot. Very unlucky. Very unlucky indeed. Ronnie O'Sullivan, thirty-three. Well, it looks as if he can see enough of this to flick it in, and he might bring the pink and reds into play if he pots it. He's, I'll tell you what, he's had so much bad luck. One. I mean, he's played a great pot there. Anthony McGill one. Oh, he sent it into the green, that's careless. That's very careless. That's what he thinks of it. This would be a good pot for Anthony McGill to pull out. One. No play, giving himself a chance and a realistic chance. It does depend on whether that red is available next to the brown. He wouldn't Four. have to do a lot with the balls. Five. 
We might find out after this next shot if that red next to the brown pots. It obviously does. Twelve. Even though 13. these two reds look in difficult positions, they're not badly set up. Oh, he's played a poor shot there, I think. He needed to be a little bit 50. further over, so he's messed things up a fraction. Tough pot with the rest. Great shot with the rest. Okay. That's super. 16. So he's obviously very, very good with the rest. And what a frame this will be for Anthony to win and level at 4 22. All. It's still a big clearance. He's not perfect on the blue. In and out of bulk, avoid, avoiding the colours. He's done that successfully. I don't think he's going to be missing this yellow. 28. It's the exact same shot as the one he missed previously. Look at that. No problem this time. <laughs> There's four in front. Green, brown and blue. Needed. Oh, oh it's going to stay there. Anthony McGill. He can't Third. believe it. Oh, this time he misses the green. It's half in the pocket. It was a bad yellow. He, he didn't screw back far enough. He put a little bit of pressure on the green. Quiet down, please. Ronnie O'Sullivan three getting out of trouble in this match not by his own making as much as a joint effort struck that well seven well what a difference that has just made just well pink needed Anthony 18. should have been all square, but missing that easy green. Open the door for Ronnie O'Sullivan. 20. Oh, so he he's absolutely made a complete hash of that shot. He just hit it far too thick. One. Now this is a bit of a tester for Anthony. Six. This will test his cue action under severe pressure now. Five, three down. Well done. Terrific Seven. shot. Good shot. And he's got an angle on the blue. He's got back in prime position. And you could pot the red and shift the 12. red away from the black spot. Got to be a bit careful. Thirteen. Twenty. I'm too sure if there's a plant into the 21. right corner. He's just spotted it now. Probably walk round the table, have another look from the other side. Well, that's nice. You could actually play that plant 29. and open up the pack because he'd have to play the plant at an angle. No problem either way. Couldn't have played it any better. It's showing great character here is Anthony. He showed tremendous character 37. in his previous round when he defeated his boyhood hero and practice partner John Higgins in the deciding frame. And he's not finished yet. Make no mistake about 43. it. 43.
44. Considering breaking open the pack of reds with a power run through, but just trying to work out how much power he needs. Doesn't think he can guarantee how they're going to come out. So place for the loose red. He's going to need one 58. more good red. Fifty nine. He's got an angle on the pink this time. He's a bit further away from the pink. Bit more pressure on the pot if you expect him to get it. He left himself one of those little 65. tricky ones along the cushion. Superb. It really 66. was. 66. Keeping himself in contention. He's got a chance to win the last three frames. Seventy-four. He's mentally very strong, this boy, you can tell. Eighty-one. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. He's got to make a century this year in the UK Championship. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Well done, Anthony McGill. 103. Doesn't matter about Anthony missing McGill. that. 103. He's back with him against the wall. And what a response. He's come up with a century break, his first of this year's championship. And he's now still in this match, but he's still a frame behind at 5 4. To Ronnie O'Sullivan. Oh, that's not the way to. Keep your opponent on the back foot. Poor break off. Well, gasps from the audience. That's a shot that Ronnie normally would knock in, but he's got away with it. He could quite easily have left that red once he missed it. He's hit this a little hard. He's hit it a little hard. Surely he hasn't left a pot. He's anxiously looking there, and he just hit that one a little harder than he intended. Oh, well, Ronnie thought he could see that, and he's hit the wrong red. Well, all of a sudden, there's all sorts happening out there. He could see enough of that, but caught the other red. One. But he's got plenty of cue power. He can disturb reds. He's got one available. Should the, the split not go right? And that particular shot, he didn't use or utilize his cue power. Somehow he thought he was going to be Eight. on that red regardless. He didn't want to find that little gap and sure enough he did and stuck right in the middle of them. Anthony McGill, eight. No, surely. What a shot. One. That is the shot of the match so far. At that angle, to knock that red in the middle is unbelievable. Yeah, a couple more shots. You may see this develop quite nicely for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Deliberately played low on this to 16. Now really try and do some damage.
24. The pink's potable into both corners and you could realistically use either black or pink in splitting open that pack of six reds. 25. But once again, he wants a guarantee when he does have to split them, he's on a red. That, I think, is the difference between Ronnie O'Sullivan going into the pack and others, or some 31. others. 32. He's got the angle now. You know, it's one good shot, but they're not a good bunch to go into from here, but he may take the chance now. No, he's going to hang on. Maybe do it from the pink. 39. Four. Still got the loose red. Yeah, he still won't do it unless he absolutely nailed on knows he's going to be getting a red out. I'm just wondering if that red at the back of that bunch is available into the right corner. If it is, he may not have to count it into them. But if that red goes, 47. he won't have to go into the bunch. I don't think if he's dead straight on the pink, that is a, an error. I think he's he over here. Oh, it goes. Well, yeah. He's got to play one good shot here, but we know that that red is available in a couple of shots time. 54. And he's nicely on the brown. I think to get up to that position, he's got quite a margin for error here. Yeah, anywhere up around that circle. And he's got that red. 58. And a little nudge to bring 59. another red out, but he can't get on that. So this will give him the match. If he pots the black, opens the red, it's all over. Is he on a red? He's got one to the middle pocket. He's 58 ahead. He only needs 66. this. And the black... Sixty-seven. He's closed out this potential banana skin of a match with sheer class. Yeah, he's seen a, his opponent make a century break to keep himself in the match. And how did he respond? Seventy-five. With a frame and match-winning break. But every credit to Anthony McGill. He really has made... Ronnie work 82. here this afternoon and he's give a terrific account of himself and I'm certainly 83. looking forward to seeing a lot more from young Anthony. I like his attitude, I like his game, but it's all about the rocket now. Finishing style. 91. Of course he can. It's not easy though. 97. Well, no century break. Ronnie O'Sullivan has been set a goal away by Anthony McGill. And he's saying to Anthony there, well played. That's nice to see from Ronnie. I think this is a terrific match. Well done, Anthony McGill. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, you're a class act. And you're in the semi final. You defeat the young Scott six frames to four. Yes, Ronnie O'Sullivan flew to his eighth United Kingdom semi-final and his first is 2009, in fact. But look at this fella. What a wonderful, wonderful uh, amount of entertainment this guy has given us today. He's only 23 years of age. This is the first time we've really... He's even, <laughs> he's even clearing up there. That's very kind of you. Well done, Anthony. But, you know, that just shows the humility of this young man. What a wonderful afternoon he's had out He's there. been too long at the billiard hall. He's <laughs>